This is Joe with Josastrophoto.com and tonight I'm going fishing and I'm taking you with me. The Dolphin Head Nebula otherwise known as SH2-308 in the Sharpless catalog, lies around 5,000 light years away from the Earth. Uh, it's located in the Canis Major constellation. And there's um, a very bright star that's like pre-supernovaine. Is that a word? Supernovaine? Anyway, it's, it's in the pre-stages uh -huh, of a supernova. And all that radiation is pushing the gases out and forming a cosmic bubble. And it gets its name because it resembles the head of a dolphin. Um, the majority of what looks to be like oxygen-3 data with a little bit of hydrogen alpha. So what I'm going to do, or attempt to do, is um, shoot this in an HOO palette. Uh, the hydrogen alpha and oxygen-3 is the green and the blue. Uh, I've seen some other pictures and I think that looks the best. Actually, I've never seen pictures of it any other way to be completely honest, but it's my turn to take the same type of picture, I suppose. I'm going to be using my new 294mm Pro camera and my trusty Zenistar Z81 telescope. Um, and I've got some new filters. I, the ZWO filters that I had been using um, have been just awful for narrowband imaging. Um, no offense, ZWO, I love your stuff. I love your cameras. I, I've got your guide camera. You, your stuff's fantastic. Um, your filter wheel, your focuser. But uh, for filters, I decided to go with an Astrodon uh, three nanometer oxygen filter and an Astrodon five nanometer uh, hydrogen alpha filter. I wanted to get the sulfur, but right now I can't afford it. So what I'm thinking about trying to do is um, getting the Antlia 3 nanometer um, sulfur 2 and just to test it because they're cheap and, or I don't say cheap, they're inexpensive in comparison. And I've been hearing some great things about them and I wanted to test them out. So I think I'm going to go that route for the sulfur just to see. And uh, then if I don't like it, I guess I'll be biting the bullet for the, uh, that third Astrodon. It really was just a choice between Astrodon and Chroma when it comes to the halos that you get, especially in the Oxygen 3 filter. Everyone else seems to still have halos no matter what. Um, so I just, I picked these up secondhand. So um, Chroma was my first choice actually. Uh, just because they're a little bit cheaper, but Astrodon's pretty much got the same specs as Chroma. And so far I've used it in a couple images and I have not seen any halos. So it's working as advertised. There is one thing that I had to do in order to fit the, the Astrodon filter, the oxygen one, into my filter wheel. And I'll show you that right now. So the ZWO 8 position filter wheel, which I have, um, is 20 millimeters thick and that's great for your back focus especially when using it on like SCTs and stuff like that. Unfortunately though the Astrodon uh, 3 nanometer oxygen filter that I picked up second hand was 7.5 millimeters and the maximum that the filter will fit is only 7 nanometer, uh, millimeters thick. So I don't know if you can see the, the ribs on this, but that's what the filter was, was hitting. And it was getting stuck on these. And so all I did was, was flip the case over. So instead of the ribbed piece being on the inside, uh, it's now on the outside. This did add uh, about one, maybe 1 1.5 millimeters to my back focus, but it doesn't seem to have uh, hurt anything. I did notice that on my um, automatic focuser, I am now, I was around the 7,000 step mark, 
and this is going to be different on everyone's, but just so that give you some idea. And now I'm at the 9,000 step mark, but the back focus seems to be just fine. So I'm not too worried about it. And now I can um, get more 7.5 millimeter thick filters if I need to. I'm all loaded in and the camera's cooling. It's almost done. And I'm going to try and sneak in 11 10 minute subs in oxygen and 10 in hydrogen. I think that um, that's going to bring me to 10 20 or 10 06 tonight. Um, I'm going to be starting here pretty soon. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit darker. And um, let me unpark my telescope and we'll actually slew over there and we'll just check and see. Um, what uh, it looks like in the guiding scope oh yeah still too bright out um, my settings the way I have them right here are set for when it's dark that this comes out real good so it's still too light um, I'm gonna have to wait a few minutes but yeah this is where we're at I am going to um, start guiding slew to target center on target and I'm going to um, focus on start and on my filter change it's the rain's supposed to come in later tonight, so I'm gonna have to uh, cover up everything as soon as this is done. Uh, I'll put the lid on the observatory. It looks like at 10:07, and I actually get to bed early tonight. So I thought I was recording earlier when I, my first um, image first came through of the dolphin head and oxygen, but it turns out that I wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna load a picture of one in here though so that you could see what I first saw but here's my hydrogen towards the end of the imaging session for the evening um, there's not a lot but there is a little bit and uh, it's still pretty cool even just to see that so here's what my first sub looked like uh, it's pretty exciting to, to see that uh, this is a pretty faint image and I feel like I got a lot of data in here um, from one sub. So I'm really excited to see how this project turns out. Last night went amazingly well. I got some great images. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the night's gonna go. As you can see behind me, we got lots of clouds and uh, it might even rain later this evening. But most of the apps still say it's gonna be clear just with high humidity. So the scene won't be excellent. It'll only be okay or possibly even bad. Um, but we're still going to give it a shot. I think that I could still get some images tonight. I just don't have that much time on this target every night. I got about two hours, two and a half hours. Last night I got 21 total subs and two of them I had to throw out. So I'm looking at 19 subs a day. This project could take a couple weeks. Here you go. There's not a cloud in the sky. The dolphin head nebula will come up right about here and it won't get a whole lot higher than that and then it's going to set right here at the corner of where my observatory roof and the mountains are. It only goes up to about 26 degrees in my area. I thought this would be interesting to show. Um, this here is on my third night of imaging. The, the scene was um, rated as okay. Um, I have okay, good, and excellent on the app that I'm using. And this is from one of my nights of it being excellent. And there's just a, a drastic comparison here between the two of them and to make it even stand out more this is my hydrogen um, there's not as much hydrogen data in this target and this is on a night where the scene was just uh, okay and you could just make it out and here's my hydrogen on a night that was excellent and you could see uh, a lot more data in here a lot more stars as well. So I was really pleased with the data that I captured. 
uh, each night on this image. There was only about one night with some bad scene that um, the data didn't come out as nice as I would have liked. And also the moon was full during the, a lot of this imaging as well. The full moon probably didn't help much on a couple of those nights that I didn't get as much data uh, when the scene was poor. And actually the moon um, was less on the bad scene night when I got less data than on the good night that I got more data. So I, I thought that was a little strange in and of itself, but still very cool um, project. And I hope you enjoy the image. I took my data and I pre-processed it in APP, uh, Astro Pixel Processor. And then I took it over to PixInsight and did the majority of processing. Then I took it over into Photoshop and did a little bit more processing. And finally took it in the Lightroom Classic and uh, did my final touch-ups and crops in that. So yeah, I ran this data through every program I have. So it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. It's been fun. I hope you enjoy the, the final image at the end of the video. And as usual, if you like this content, please give me a like, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as it really does help. And we'll see you in the next video.